Hi guys, good morning. I hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're gonna to make a little mobile. A mobile is kinetic art, and that's art that moves. This art is gonna move with the wind, okay? So any kind of wind current will make it move and spin. What you're gonna need is some white paper, and this is just copy paper from the copy machine, and we're gonna make it into a square. Now you can also use bits of wrapping paper and any other kind of paper you have. So to make it into a square, what you wanna do is, since it's a rectangle, you wanna take the paper, and I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it, and you're gonna take one corner and fold it down so it forms a, I'm gonna hold it up in a second, let me just line it up. We're gonna line up one corner like this, just like this. And if you line up one corner down, so it lines up just like this, you will make a square this way, okay? So you're folding one corner down this way and then crease it, okay? So you make a nice crease. Always fold things on the table. Don't hold it up like I am, like an origami, okay? And then you're gonna cut this piece off with your scissors. So you're gonna need your scissors for this project, the paper. You're also gonna need a hole punch or scissors can make a hole. You're gonna need a piece of string. I would also suggest that you have um, some watercolors. I have my dirty watercolors, which I love, and a little teeny tiny bit of water. I also have a little piece of paper towel. Always good to have your water down. And um, that's about it. That's all you're really gonna need. So the first thing you're gonna need is four pieces of paper and we're gonna cut it into four uh, squares. So. First off, let's start making our squares. So you're gonna fold your piece of paper down, just like this, and we're gonna make our four squares. So, let me cut this off and make my square. This is an easy way to make a square out of any piece of paper. So now when I open it up, voila, a square. We're gonna do that four times, okay? So, I'm just gonna quickly do mine, and you guys do yours. Now I did all mine together, so I have them real fast. Do yours separately so you learn how to fold and crease it, okay? So here they are, four squares. So once you have them, your four even squares, straighten them out, okay? And now we're gonna do an accordion fold. An accordion fold is really simple. You're gonna go back and forth and make a fold. So to do that, I'm gonna line mine up and you're simply gonna go away from you, crease it. So I made it a fold that was away from me, like this. And then with the back of my scissors, I'm gonna take the back of my scissors, just like this, and I'm gonna run it across the fold really strong to make sure that it's nicely creased. Then I'm gonna flip it over and put it away from me again, the same of distance, back of my scissors, crease it again, crease it again, flip it over, away from me, back of my scissors, crease it again. Now, whenever you're working in origami, you always want to make sure you have clean hands because you don't want your paper to get dirty. There's oils on your hands and you want to make sure they're nice and clean. So you don't want to be touching your face or anything like that because there's oil on our skin all the time, especially when we hit adolescence puberty and all that. So we want to keep folding. You're going to do this all the way to the end. Do you see how I'm getting the ups and the down, the peaks and the valleys? So we're going to do this. This is called an accordion fold, an accordion fold. So it's kind of making the letter M or a W. So we're going to keep going to the end, keep going up and down, turn it up and down. Using the back of your scissors, you just go all the way to the end, flipping it back and forth. Each time it's a valley and the peaks, the same width and distance. Flip it one more time. Now the last one might not be the same exact distance. It won't matter. So here we have it, okay? Now, you could do these all separately. I did mine all together just to expedite things. That means to speed things along, okay? So now I'm gonna take them all apart. One, two, three, four, so I have four. Take your first one and I'm gonna crease it 
Make sure I have it all nice. Crease it again so it's nice and tight, okay? Nice tight. Now I'm gonna fold it in half so I have two equal pieces, just like I made a fan. I'm gonna crease that with my, let me clean up my area, with my scissors, the back of my scissors, make it nice and tight so it's nicely tight, okay? I'm gonna do that to every piece. Fold it again, fold it in half so it's even, so the two halves are equal. You want them to be equal. Crease it with my scissors. Then I'm gonna take my glue stick and I wanna glue this piece to this side right here, just like that. So I'm gonna put a line of glue right here with my glue stick. Open that up, put some glue right down here. Put this piece right along it, lie it down flat, lie it on it, put this on, use my scissors, make it flat, rub, 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 open it up, and here he is, nice, okay? Now I wanna do the same thing on this side. And each one I'm gonna lie flat, make sure they're all together. Got them, turn over this one, glue this one together, So I'm kind of making a fan. Here he is. So I just took that and made a fan, okay? You're gonna do the same thing to the other side, okay? So I'm gonna take the other piece, do the same exact thing. Take my scissors, squish him all up. Use my scissors, fold it tight. Fold him in half. Use my back of my scissors. Crease it, get that good crisp fold. Put a little drop of glue right in here. Glue him together. Crease it with my scissors. He is together now. Take this one, crease it with my scissors. Fold him in half. Crease it with my scissors. Open him up, put a little drop of glue down the middle. Fold it down, put it together. Put a little drop of glue down this one. Glue the two halves together. One on top of the other. Open it up, I got two halves, right? So now I'm gonna take this half and glue it together like this. I'm gonna take this. Put a little drop of glue down the middle, just like this. Take him, put him on top of it. Rub, rub, rub. Open it up, voila. Take this half right here, put a little glue right here. Rubby, rubby, rubby with my glue stick. Open them up, seal it up. Crease it with my fingers. And there you go, isn't that pretty? So now I got this cool shape, right? So now this is where you're gonna come in and you're gonna use your watercolors. So I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna clean up my area real quick, cap my glue stick. Don't need the scissors, don't need the glue stick, put them away, always wanna clean up after yourself, okay? So I have this, I'm gonna take my little tray, Take my glue stick. I'm right-handed, put everything on my right side so I'm not crossing over myself. Water is gonna go over here, right side. Gonna take a few drops of water and stick them on my, um, activate my watercolors with a few drops of water. I have mine activated from the night before when I was using them, when I made my example. Take my project, my design, my spherical design, put them down on the paper. Now, what I wanna do is very simple. I'm gonna take my water cup, put it right here, put my paper towel right here, so I don't wanna make a mess, okay? You wanna do self-control when you're working with paint. Don't wanna go all crazy, okay? So, I'm gonna start with what color I like best. So, I'm gonna start with a bright color. Whenever you're doing watercolors, you wanna start with your lightest color. So, my lightest color would probably be yellow, right? So 
gonna go with some yellow. I'm gonna grab up a scoop of yellow and I'm gonna put it anywhere I want on my project. And I'm gonna fill in one of the valleys with some yellow. So I'll put some yellow in this one. And then I'll put some yellow over here. And I want my eye to dance around the page with yellow and color anywhere I feel like it. More yellow over here. And some yellow over here. And then I'm gonna say, oh, my next color would be orange or yellowy orange. So I'll go that here. And I wanna just start adding color anywhere I feel like it. This is where you get to be creative and just start adding your colors. So as you can see, I'm just putting them anywhere I feel like it. And I'm gonna fill in all the colors. And I'm gonna go with bright orange this time. And I keep adding colors wherever I feel like it, a little water here or there. I don't wanna to add too much water because this paper is kind of flimsy. And I'm just gonna add a little bit here or there, wherever I feel like it. And I'm gonna fill up the whole project with different colors, wherever I feel like it. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I'm just gonna do this really super fast. You guys can take your time more. I might go to red now, a little red. I'm gonna grab some red right here. Yep, I like red. Maybe a little fuchsia, go for fuchsia next. You can use any colors you feel like. If you like all cool colors like blues and greens, you could do that. I'm gonna go for some purple. Oh, I like purple. Get some purples in here. Yep, that's nice. And I'll add a little more purple up here. Yep. And I'll add some, this purple, this ready purple up here. Oh, that's pretty. A little up here. Yep, like that. And I'll add some blue, love blue. Love it, love it, love it. And I'll add some blue up here. Maybe some green, like green. Green is lovely. And maybe, ooh, yellowy green. Gotta do that. You wanna fill the whole project with some colors, beautiful, beautiful colors, any way you feel like it. Cause there's no right or wrong in how you color this. So you're just gonna keep going, keep going. Now I'm actually gonna stop because I wanna show you the example that I did. Just so, this is gonna dry then. So as you can see, I'm just throwing colors all over the place. So I'm gonna put him aside and I'll hold one, see here it is, let him go. And then after you're done, you let it dry, you're gonna pop a hole in the side right here with your hole punch. You would just grab a hole punch, grab a couple of these, pop a hole in, use your scissors, grab a string, feed your string right through a couple of these little, little hole things. And then you would simply string them up. I'm not gonna pick him up right now because he's kind of wet. Tie a little knot right here and he would hang. But I'll show you one that's done, okay? So I did this one last night and here he is. So here he is right here. So this one I made while watching TV and as you can see, it bled through on the other side and they'll spin in the wind, like as you, you do them. You can do them all different size diameters and they'll look really cool together. So the more paint you add, you can add all different size pieces of squares of paper and they'll be different size diameter circles, but they'll look really cool if they're spinning in the, in the wind outside. But that's called a mobile because it's gonna move in the wind, okay? But I hope you guys enjoy making these because they're really fun and they look really cool when you do them. You can also do them with different um, shapes of paper. Like if I made them with these, it would look different if I don't want to use the watercolors or if I want to design my own paper. But have fun making it, okay? If you don't want to use the watercolors, use wrapping paper, okay? Have fun doing it. I hope they turn out great for you. Have a great day. Enjoy making your mobiles. I hope yours turn out great. Have a good day. Bye, guys.